Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and uh, we're going to take a look at the minor pentatonic, but just on the G, B, and high E strings and a group of three patterns. So it's kind of like a little pentatonic exercise, if you will. And if you want an entire course of pentatonic exercises, I have one, and it's totally free in the first comment and the links below free pentatonic exercise course for a limited time, so check that out. Also, thanks for subscribing to Marty Music here if you haven't yet, and supporting Marty Music. I appreciate it so much. Let's zoom in, break it down. All right, I'm gonna do A minor pentatonic. I'm gonna do groups of three descending from the high E string like this. So, the scale itself. And we're just gonna stick on the G, B, and high E strings there. So, that was me just going down the scale from the 8th fret high E. But now we're going to go down, but in groups of three. So, one, two, three, which started on the 8th fret, and then three down from the next one, the 5th fret. So, one, two, three. You put those two sequences together. Once again, real slow. Next little group of three. So that's eighth fret B, fifth fret B, seventh fret G. Back to the fifth B, back to the G. All together you get this. Great for your technique, just learning guitar. That specifically is an exercise, right? That's not a lick. That's not a beautiful, mel beautiful melody. It's literally our brain is working a lot of things out mechanically and connecting our ear, hearing what that sounds like. Right? Not a lick, not mm, a melody, an exercise. And what's good is we can take just the three strings of the A minor pentatonic up and down the whole neck, and it's just a different way to learn it and to look at it. So that was obviously the home row, the main one. You also have that up here. You're going to hear, you're going to get familiar with that pattern too. Da -da 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 da so below it, here's the scale, the shape. So that is five, three, five, three, five, two. So you do the sequence there. You can use just your ring and index or you can switch to pinky index. Right hand's doing the exact same thing for each spot. The left hand's doing something very similar to. The next one up looks like this 10, 8, 10, 8, and then 9, 7. So. You can put start combining them. So the next one's right here. Probably the weirdest one. But we're not memorizing all six strings of the shape right now. We can look at it this way. So up here, and always know where your roots are. So if we're in the A minor pentatonic and we're in this one. We've got it right there and right here. And no matter what key you're in when you're playing that minor pentatonic, those are the roots. Here, it's right. In this position. It's 
right there. And so when you move up, it's still going to be right there. And so that's 12 10 on the high E, 13 to 10 on the B. And then 12 to 9 on the G, so it's weird. And then finally, up here you have And so that's uh let's see 15 12 15 13 14 12 putting them together and it's just great practice. So let's see, nice and slow from this one. Then this one. I got a little sloppy there, sorry. first one again, which is right here. Challenge for you. Let's see if you can do it. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget links and com first comment down there for a free pentatonic exercise course and thank you again for the wonderful support over the years or if this is your first video thank you so much hope to see you again soon take care